friends welcome back and welcome to our channel it's serena from the falco family where we make videos about education and lifestyle today i'm going to share with you my daily slides if i can make it through this video during my little break that i have in our day and it's not too distracting i can share with you guys how i pull together these slides we are the falco family brian serena cameron kendall and savannah a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Five frustrating minutes of trying to stay calm and I finally got it to stream to our TV. Um, I was able to send them via AirPlay to our TV that's in our schoolroom, which is amazing, okay? <laughs> First things first, I use the Keynotes app on our devices. I always tend to use the Apple Suite, and I know that most people who share, I know that most people who share these types of things generally use the Microsoft Suite, like um, PowerPoint and Word, but I am a Pages girl, Pages, Keynote, um numbers kind of girl so i'm going to show you how i did it i do not know how to transfer them to powerpoint i know that you can export them to a powerpoint but i don't know how to create them there and i'm not exactly sure how to make them editable so it just wasn't super easy for me to create something for you to be able to download so i have not done that yet i'm not saying that i won't do it like in the future but for right now i really have to stay focused on what we're doing and uh and the most that i can do right now is just share with you how i made it happen around here this is currently where we are in our day. The kids are making tea and getting their snack. I feel like our devices are completely underutilized. I think that more than likely people are against digital things in learning and homeschool life in particular because we aren't really like up to speed on how exactly to use all the functions that there are in our devices and so i just really try to hone in on learning more about my device and how to use it and not trying to go to so many outside sources and apps and things to accomplish um the goals that i have so that's first and foremost what I try to do um, and what has helped me a lot. So I'm using the Keynotes app and I will just walk you through how I pulled the slides together for this year for our daily schedule. Every year I try something new to add to our schedule and routine and hope that it helps. Um, I hope it helps managing expectations with three different kids. Any things that support how we make our way through the day is welcome here. This year, I decided to create a few digital slides in hopes of having somewhat of a virtual checklist that was easy for me to update and display as the weeks move along. So while you'll clearly see that I am not a tutorialist by any means, I am trying my hand at walking you through a bit of the Keynote platform and explaining a little of how I pulled together the slides in this video <laughs> so please give your girl a little grace knowing that i try my best just for you so once i open the keynote program i go to start a new project and it prompts you to choose a theme i really try to keep it as simple as possible i'm not using all the bells and whistles i just go to choose um, a basic theme and I'm not even going to use a lot of the presets that are involved. I just want a blank slate. So I choose the theme, the blank theme, and I start off by deleting um, anything that they have already included in the theme. So in this case, I just remove the text boxes that, that hold the presentation title and things like that because I just want a blank clean slate that I can then duplicate and just do whatever I'd like to do with it. So you'll see at the top, as I toggle through, there is a spot for tables, charts, text, shape, media, all of those things. Over to the right, there is um, spaces for opening up the format menu, the animation menu, um, and the document menu we're gonna stay inside of the uh, formatting menu and just to show you that i have this blank slide over to the left that blank slide is what i used 
to duplicate and create all of the additional slides that I have that make up our uh, schedule and or routine. So I'm just going to walk you through the blank slide um, and show you a little bit of what they can become. I have a morning meeting slide. I have a morning walk and memories slide. I have two slides that make up our AM work. So it's in part one and part two, a slide for our quiet reading time, for a language arts, for snack and tea time, mathematics, and then we move on to history and science, lunchtime, our writer's lab, which is part of our projects, and then our specials and quiet writing and read aloud time rounds out our day right before our end of day meeting, which is where I house any homework or unfinished work that they are going to need to work on. I wanted to be able to provide instruction in a more dynamic way. Anything that assists me in separating mom from teacher is help wanted in our unschool days. The great thing about this digital life is that syncing through devices is everything. While it does take a bit of techiness and patience in figuring it all out, it is certainly all worth it in the end. So I'm basically going to start off each slide with a title. Um, and the title is just going to be an indicator of what part of the day that we are on. Morning meeting slide is the indicator. It starts off the day that belongs to the week, whatever day of the week. Um, so I just make sure to include my date in that space. And then I start adding boxes and text. The text boxes that I use are really easy to add. They're actually shapes. Um, so if you look in the shapes section up from the top, uh, there are all types of shapes that you can use as your boxes. I simply just add the square shape and then I go over to format the text box um, to be whatever I'd like it to look like. Uh, you can make it whatever color you would like. You can um, outline it instead so it actually looks like a box, but then you can also change the uh, lining thickness, the line thickness and the color so that it can match whatever you would like your slide to look like. Um, I tend to choose the picture frame option. If you look at the border and select the picture frame option instead of the line, then you can choose from a selection of picture frames that they have. And I tend to like this one that I selected. But there are all different types that you can choose from. Um, I just try to keep it somewhat streamlined between my slides so that I'm not doing too much. <laughs> so... So I'll just show you a few of the different options that you can choose for your text boxes that you're then going to include whatever instruction or resource links that um, you'd like to include along the way. So now you'll see I add in my text box. I mean, there's all sorts of options. Um, you can make your text color different. You can make it pop by adding um, increasing the opacity, is that the way that you say it, the blur in the background, all of those things over in the format section, in the style section, helps you choose different options for how you would like your text to look. So um, in my morning meeting slide, I just want to have a spot for reminders and announcements, just like you would <laughs> in school. You just have a little spot where you're, there's a reminder of what's going on in the day and anything that there is to announce. And then I like to have a little spot over to the side where I can include my main learning goal. Um, I just kind of rotate between a few things like explore projects, things like that. Um, so they don't change too often, our learning goals, but it is nice just to kind of add that to the mix. I mean, everything in Keynote is very much so drag and droppy, and I love that. <laughs> okay, it makes it really easy just to get started with something, and then you can always make adjustments along the way. So I just love these digital slides. Keeping it digital makes it so easy to adjust the plan whenever necessary. The kids can access them directly on their devices. I can stream them through AirPlay on any screen in our house. Um, I can pull them up 
on the go on my iPad on my computer on my iPhone when we're out on adventures I can change the order of our day or make the day a bit shorter to make room for other things it's like having a digital unschooled schedule bestie <laughs> and I love it the only rule in creating the slides and making sure they are as effective as possible is to consider our needs and no one else's and try my hardest to streamline and keep it simple in a world where y'all know I like to make things extra. I include a background image and a few graphic elements that fit our Falco family brand and I like to add a next up section at the bottom right hand corner of each slide and a check mark that appears as they click through each section of their routine. Next up, what I want to show you is how to add check marks um, to your items on your slides. I wanted to have a way that they could tap the space bar or tap the screen and check off um, each section as they move through their checklist or their schedule. It's really simple. You can really add this to any element, but I chose an actual check mark at the top. You take a look through the shapes and just select what you would like to use. You could use um, an actual check mark or you can use um, an X or whatever you would like to use to indicate um, a, a checking through your checklist. So I use a check mark. You can go over to the right side and you can play with the formatting, which is the color, what it looks like. And then you can also start to play with how it's animated. This is where you will get your actual check from. So when you first um, tap on to your slide, that check mark uh, will not be there. But as you check through the items, you can indicate when you would like this check mark to appear and what you would like it to look like. Um, you can do this with any element that's on the page. You can indicate which order you would like them to check through. Um, so I simply just make sure that I am keeping them in the order in which I'd like them to check through the boxes, if that makes sense. So if I have three check marks on the page, then I just make sure that each check will appear on the click that is appropriate based on the order that I have outlined for them to do or work through that thing. Um, our schedule always tends to be split into two parts, focused subject study and then check-ins and or breaks. So the check-ins and or breaks are more like, are things more like morning meetings, morning walk, AM work, quiet reading time, snack and tea time, lunch, quiet writing and read aloud, and then our end of day meetings. Then our focus subject study is your basics like language arts, mathematics, history, science, specials, and projects. After I create a set of slides that runs through each part of the day, I will then duplicate it by four within the document. And that way that'll give me a set of slides for each day of our school week. Um, it makes it really easy to go in and just adjust things and remove things and add things based on whatever week we are working on. And then it becomes my actual document um, that logs what we did throughout the days of the weeks of the year. This is the background element that I chose to just play with um, on each one of my slides. It's really simple. You just take an image that you choose and you drop it into the uh, slide and then you just go over to I think it is the formatting section and choose where you would like to see that item and so you just set that item to the background and then that becomes your background image of your slide in this case I just simply added a gallery box um, once you select your box and put it where you'd like it to be, then just dragging and dropping images into that box becomes super, super simple and you can do it from your phone. So I like to just add pictures from our morning walk into that spot. Um, here I am showing you how you can go right back up to the symbols and select any symbol that you want to add to your slide. In this case, I wanted to add a book symbol just as an indicator that um, a book uh, cover 
uh, goes in this spot. This is how I keep a good log of the reading that we're doing. I like to keep track with our bingo, our seven day reading challenge, as well as whatever literature study book that we've picked. It does not include any independent reads that we have. We keep those in a log in our um, book logs or reading logs in our devices and in our binders. When necessary, I break the slides up into three boxes or sections in order to add any specific instructions or references to the kids individually. As I'm able to add hyperlinks, um, I'm able to embed videos, uh, create voice memos, and even stream live videos to the slides to help them along the way. Uh, so next up, you will see here those individual spaces that I mentioned earlier that are specific to each kid. I'm able to use hyperlinks and all of that stuff to embed videos that are specific to what they are supposed to be using during this time or what we have indicated that they wanted to watch next or explore next and all of those things and you simply just go up to the top and add um, the web video and include the URL here and insert it it's just that simple um, and then it is then included into the um, items for them to watch for the day it's really important to note that we use these slides most heavily throughout the first few months of establishing a newer routine and we'll expect them to become more second nature as the days move on in our unschool life um, our goal really is to use them as a tool and never to let them control the flow of our studies or our day. If you'll notice over here where this speaker icon is, you just go up to the top and select um, audio and you're able to toggle between any of your audio media if you want to add a song to play to this area in this area you can also uh, choose to do a live video or record audio of your own um, and that is really nice when I want to just kind of audio record myself giving an instruction if it's too much for me to type out or if I just want to leave a little note of encouragement this is how I would do it. If you toggle to the top left hand corner, you can choose how you'd like to view the slides between what you're seeing now mostly is the navigator style, but you can also choose to see them in a light box, which is nice to see all of the slides um, together. And then you're able to choose the play button to just run yourself through the slides that you've created, making sure that they're all in the order that you are interested in them showing up. And this is basically how we work our way through our day. I know this wasn't the most perfect tutorial situation ever, but your girl tried. <laughs> I also included a little bit more detail in a blog post up on our website at thefalcofamily.com backslash blog and you can see one of the recent uh, you can toggle through until you see the how to create or how we created our daily slides. Um, I hope this gives you a bit more insight as to how and why we like to live our best digital lives <laughs> and in this case with um, slides that help our homeschool or unschool routine and schedule. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember that life is so very full of lessons. We're all learning here together. And our goal is to live and to learn. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.